No crowds, no cash register, no cashier, just a quiet click in the dark. So why did this single moment change how the entire world buys everything? It's 1994. The internet is still a fragile thing, humming through phone lines, screeching and crackling as modems struggle to connect. Most people don't trust it. Many don't even know what it is. The web feels like a ghost town, text-heavy pages, blinking cursors, and long waits just to load a single image. And yet, somewhere in that digital wilderness, an ordinary person is about to do something no one has ever done before. Buy something. Online. Picture the room. A bulky computer monitor glows softly in the dark. The air smells faintly of warm plastic and dust. The buyer hesitates. There's no shopping cart, no reassuring checkout page, no familiar brand name promising safety. Just a form, a credit card number, and a leap of faith. Because this isn't just a purchase. It's a question posed to the future. Will this work? Will my money vanish? Will anything even arrive? On the other side of that invisible connection sits a small music retailer experimenting with a radical idea. What if you could sell without a store? What if distance didn't matter? What if commerce could travel at the speed of data? The item itself is almost laughably ordinary, a compact disc. No luxury, no hype, just music pressed into plastic. But the method? The method is revolutionary. When the transaction completes, nothing explodes. No alarms ring. The world doesn't notice. Outside, cars pass. People sleep. History moves forward silently. Days later, a package arrives. It's real. The CD exists. The money transferred. The system worked. In that moment, something fragile becomes permanent. Because this wasn't about music. It was about trust. About believing that a screen could connect strangers. That value could move without hands. That a promise made by code could be kept. Slowly, others follow. Books, software, tickets, ideas. Entire businesses are born from that single click. Shopping malls migrate into pockets. Storefronts dissolve into pixels. Waiting in line becomes a memory. And now, decades later, we buy groceries from couches, summon rides with thumbs, and send money across the planet in seconds, rarely stopping to ask where it all began. But it began right there, with one hesitant buyer, one ordinary CD, and one quiet moment when the future said yes. If this story made you pause even for a second, take a moment to like, share, and subscribe. And tell me in the comments, what was the first thing you ever bought online?